Just like the fictional flux capacitor in Back to the Future, the discovery of 30,000-year-old carbon-14 in the thunderstorm generator hints at time dilation effects. Malcolm's thunderstorm generator utilizes plasmoid clusters that have the ability to absorb enormous amounts of energy, converting naturally abundant protium into stored energy. Each tiny microscopic ball lightning cluster can store up to about 1 to 2 kilowatts of energy, which can then be used for highly efficient HHO systems like Stan Meyer's electrolysis engine. We discovered live on stream recently that Stan was not only resonating his electric load with its conductor, tubes used for the electrolysis process. He was also ionizing the air to precondition the water for bubble cavitation. When this cavitation happens under the right circumstances, it can cause the water molecules to oscillate from contraction to expansion until it finally allows for a nuclear collapse using the electromagnetic force. This collapse happens so fast and so violently that it actually changes the water state of matter directly from a liquid into a plasma.